it's a heavy topic for me to talk about, but I think it's also a topic that why did I choose the pills? Let me take a seat, this. Ciao ragazzi! Today I'm here to share about my birth control experience, like everything else that no one tells you about it because I have been pretty much using them for all my life. Just things that I regret when it comes to that decision that I took many years ago, side effects issues, infertility issues, and let me say what well, this is one of those topics when your parents will tell you, take a seat. And if you're standing, take a seat because we have a lot to share. Or I have a lot, why well, I don't even know why I say we. Because I've taken this probably as a girl's talk, and it's a talk that is also very important to me. It's also one of those videos that I have drafted, I wanted to film since the beginning of this channel, but back in the day the channel was more like cooking channel, I didn't know how to bring in things like this, now it's more like moving towards a personal and I can share a little bit more of my journey just as a, as a woman as well. And if you have watched uh, this channel for a while and you have seen the video when we did about uh, why we still do not have kids, I've expressed before that during my time growing up in the village, so many young girls got pregnant before they finished school. And that was, you know, it was really terrible because obviously you are in the village, you want to finish school and maybe go to college and then have kids later. It was just terrible and most parents were also very, very scared. My mother, who is a nurse and has always been a nurse, then was at home like preaching contraceptive, contraceptive, use contraceptive. Oh, I just remember my mother was like also very scared. Oh my goodness, my kids. Most parents were actually scared. My kids are going to get pregnant before they finish school, they're not, or they won't be able to finish. So this is why I chose to actually take contraceptives. Let me start by saying how long have I been using contraceptives? Uh, very long, I would say I've been using contraceptive for as long as I remember, like just as long as I've been sexually active. Uh, I would say that is probably since I was 18. Now, in Namibia for, I think also up to now, if you don't have uh, good health insurance because it's not uh, compulsory, you could just get this from the hospital for free. Then if you have, when I started working and I had health insurance, I would then get it from my, I think from my private doctor, but then you had to pay extra for them while yes i had to pay i would say about 30 percent i had to contribute 30 percent to get them while when i was getting them for free like at the private at the public hospital you would only pay seven million dollars back in the days and then you get them one package for three months for free what have i been using of course we all know there are a whole lot of different contraceptives all my life i have been using Pills. Why did I choose the pills? Let me take a seat. This. This is a very heavy topic for me to talk about, just from an African perspective. These are kind of things that we just taught as, or we were just raised that these are taboo. You shouldn't be talking about them. Uh, it's still there are so many taboos and myths around contraceptives. And back in the day. I remember, although we were going to these schools or these uh, lessons where we taught about contraceptives and stuff, some parents who still wouldn't allow their children to take them and if they knew their neighbor's children are taking contraceptives, they happened to find out it was still going to be a major issue. Now, I would get this directly from the hospital, but I know the very first time I went to the hospital and I wanted to get this, I was 18. And at 18, I was already done with uh, high school. It was like my first year at the university. So you have your own apartment, you have a boyfriend, maybe your boyfriend is also coming to sleep over from time to time. So I, I just wanted to be safe. Um, of course, there are also STDs and stuff, and I will get into that in a bit. But 
one main thing I really wanted to be away from is having a child when I am not ready for one. And it's coming 18 years old at the university, how I was supposed. And my mother was always like, no, if you get a child, you're coming to sit at home and take care of your child, <laughs> things like that. It's, it's scary and I have seen it and I experienced it. In my small town, they're for free. Then I went to the nurse, who I know, who knows my mom, who first called my mom <laughs> to say, oh, your child is here. It's definitely doing something you want to have contraceptive. Of course, it's also a conversation I've had already with my mom because my mother was very open about it as well at home. In addition to if you're using condoms and stuff, always have something extra also that protects you from how long have I used it? I would say since, yeah, 100% sure since I was 18. And for all that time up to now, I've only been using contraceptive pills. When I was in Namibia before I moved here, in Namibia they would give you a packet with uh, 28 pills. This is what I got. I used to get in Namibia and from the private, uh, from the public hospital for free. You get three of these enough for every for the next three months. In this packet in Namibia, there was always one week which was just red pills, like seven red pills. When I moved to Germany, I couldn't find the same name and I went to my gynecologist to look for something like an alternative, something that is very similar. Then I got pills that were way less, like a week less, and I was I was informed. So this packet that I got in Germany was like, um, it had seven pills. It was missing seven pills in, in comparison to what I was used to, uh, what I, I was used to because in Namibia I would get uh, a packet for three months which meant I had to take a pill every single day at the same time for three months but here I got a, oh, a package which was only enough for three weeks and the doctor explained to me which is interesting so the pills here they didn't the package didn't have the pills that were red in color and they told me in African countries you get this ones because of the literacy of the people they don't want to leave like space of people counting how many days they should leave in between as a break for them to get their periods before they go to the next week and start a new pill and the new cycle the new cycle starts so here i would get always three pills for three weeks and then you take a break for a week and that's usually a break also the the week when you get your periods so in namibia the other pills the red ones they actually don't have anything in them just for for you to be on your habit and take a pill every single day to be, I don't know, some, something weird. And I just wish in the way people would also explain to you that way so you don't have to freak out if you miss a pill when it's just the red one. I wanted to talk about this topic for a very long time, but I was really hesitant. And it's not even because of my mom, because I think my mom was always open about it and knew about it and stuff. And is a nurse, have seen, was also giving pills to other people who wanted them. But my friends, I still had friends who were judging me just for when I say, oh, I take pills. They were judging me. At the same time, if I also look at people I went to high school with, maybe high school is a little bit far, but people I went to primary school, and if I have to look at how many people once they back in the day that got pregnant, it was scary, I needed to. But in Africa, still, this is a huge thing, myth taboo, all the things, crazy things that people would think about when you're taking pill and even say to you, if you I mean, people would just really make weird comments like, you never have children, uh, that, uh, if you also, if you just big, I'm, I'm not a big person, but if, if you're like a bigger person, they'll say, it's also because you're taking contraceptives, things like that. Now let's start with uh, number one when it comes to pills. Do you need to take them every single day? Yes, that is true. You need to take them every single day. But do you need to take them every single day at the same time? No. They work 24 hours. Important is that you take them every single day. However, the doctor, depending on where you're at, where you are living, so the doctor would always recommend take them every single day just in case. In, in, the, in that case, you kind of have a habit. You just take them. Every day at 7 in the morning when you wake up, you take or next to your breakfast or so. Amazing. Now the other part of it, which I think is the negative side of having pills, 
is most people are like, what if you forget? Yeah. For me, it has never been a problem for getting to take my contraceptives. I mean, always on my mind, on my mind. And then you have an alarm, you have 24 hours. Never happened. And again, if it happens, you always just go to the next day and take two at the same time or something like that. But it's, it's rare. It, it doesn't really happen. And then you have 24, like I'm saying, you have 24 hours. So important you take one every single day any time of the day you should still be active how effective is it now i would want to tell you no let me just put it i think it's written pills are somewhere between 94 to 96 effective amazing i can't really tell how effective it is because all the time while i'm sitting here talking about pills because this is what I think I've been always using as a major contraceptive. I was always using another second contraceptive method, like always using a condom and things like that to just, I don't know, I always want to be on the safe side. So I have something on, on the side, but I would say, it, I would say it's effective. I would say it is effective. I really know anybody who is on pill who happened to say, okay, I got pregnant while I was still on. Okay, what else? Home, ooh, this is big. Weight gain. I'm here to say weight gain for me it has never been an issue. I wouldn't say I got big. I mean, I'm still wearing extra small to small, so I wouldn't say I got bigger because of the pills. But I've noticed I've gained weight with age, and I think when I started eating more and drinking more, especially after I started working, I gained a little bit more weight. And I think that has nothing to do with the pills because I have had pills for a very long time. Um, does the pills stop your periods? No, it has never happened to me. I have always, and I still get my periods all the time, every month. However, one thing that I can say, which I think is also, if, if you check some, um, some studies, it's also proven, they do actually control your period. So it, it's a little bit more regular, consistent is in my case. But I can't say much about it because I think I started my period somewhere around when I was 17 and six months later I'm on the pills. So since I only, most of what I've experienced, I've always been on the pills. Another myth is, oh, you need to take a break from the pills because it's toxic, it's dangerous, whatever, your body just need a break. I've never taken that. My gynecologist have never suggested anything like that. I started when I was 18 and every single day I always still take that. Never suggested and I never felt any, any need to actually stop. I mean, no. Um, what my what was recommended to me was that maybe eventually over years i might need to change to something else if i feel like it's no longer effective but i have not i, I have never changed to anything up to now one thing though that i really want to highlight here is that if you're on the pills no, I don't know, that is just me because I've been always on the contraceptive. Not only if you're on the pill, but whatever you are using as a contraceptive method, you probably want to make sure that you're visiting your, your doctor on, I would say every three months, like every, every third month you want to go visit your doctor and just make sure that you're checking if you have tumors developing in your uterus or in your breast and things like that. just do some scans i also been doing that every now and then he is recommended i think every third month or every six months and then you will just check and the, the weird thing is that actually if you don't do that here if you don't go for these uh, checkups that are requested their doctor might actually refuse to give you the pill and unlike in Namibia, I remember very well in Namibia you could also when I started working and I didn't want to go to the public hospital while things are for free at the public hospital you have to sit in the queue for a long time before you get the pills. You could also just go to the pharmacy and say I want to buy this and they would give you, you have to pay full price for it. 
but here you can only get the contraceptives if you have a prescription from the doctor and the doctor will only give you the pres uh, this uh, receipt or yes I can say receipt if you also go for daily check like, it's not daily but if you go for this monthly or every third month checkup for them to be I mean they need to be aware that you're still okay under these uh, treatments Oh, this is also something super important. Would you get pregnant immediately if you forget your pills? I, can't, I just can't verify that. I would say, though, uh, important to take them every single day, 24 hours you have. Although, yes, you have 24 hours. It's obviously also highlighted, I think, in the studies that they do when they're doing this oral contraceptive uh, investigations or experiments that if you forget then your chances because again the effectiveness of this stuff is not 100% so if you forget then your chances of getting pregnant are also high um, if they work immediately it depends on when do you start taking the pill if you start taking the pills at the first day first day of your cycle and you have to calculate this to know this or you should use some application to know this then they work immediately however if you start in the middle of the cycle uh, it's recommended that you should wait at least seven days for them to become fully active in your body because they have to interrupt with the menstrual cycle all the pills i was young but i was also very nervous because i've had so many bad stuff what could happen to you to your body whatsoever for me, nothing so far. I'm very lucky. Everything has been working very well. And I never changed what I've been taking since then. I'm always taking the same uh, pills. And I haven't had any major stuff like mood swings or headaches. Or I don't have uh, pain when I got my monthly periods and things like that. No, no body like no weight gain and things like that oh what was recommended to me though at the beginning when i first got them the doctor said okay this is how we are going to start you first get it of course initially i went to the doc i didn't even go to the doctor to Nam in namibia you would just go to the hospital and say i need pills and they give you like that and you start and if you have a problem then you have to go back to the hospital and you see what else they can change you to nothing happened but when i first moved here and i went to a gynecologist before we had i got the pills we had some conversation this is what the pills that are similar to what i've been taking before going to give it to me as the first package was for like 30 days we see if everything is fine if everything's fine i continue as usual and it actually worked very well nothing happened and in this is infertility and Taking contraceptives, how does that influence your fertility as a woman? Of course, it's all known, it's out there. If you're taking contraceptive, don't take contraceptive, especially in my country, or just let me say, all my African, most of my African friends who also tell me, told me the same thing, or they know the same thing from their countries as well. Even in the hospital, sometimes, like I'm saying, when I first went to the hospital, I wanted to get the pills, and then the lady called my mom with this. Your child is never going to give birth, and it's, it's mean that they say this. And, and I'm just saying, I don't know. It's, I, I have to think about not going to give birth in 30 years from now, or I have to think about my chances of giving birth when I'm just 16 or I'm 17 or so. Ever, and but yeah, the concern is always you're not going to give. Birth. When I started them, it has never been an issue. I was 18. And from my experiences, there was only one thing on my mind. I don't, I don't want, if it means taking two or three different things, ain't happening. So, and I think this is the major thing why most people on like African continent don't take contraceptive pills. Contraceptive pills reduce your chances of having children in the future or do how do they impact your fertility? Now, I will just say this from a, somebody who works in pharmaceutical environment. 
There is no tablet that doesn't, or there's no medicine. Let me put it this way. It can be a tablet, it can be injection, it can be whatever. There's no medicine that comes without side effect. There are definitely some stuff that comes in addition to that because it's changing your body's natural way of functioning. Yeah. Anyway, guys, I think I've touched everything that I really wanted to. Uh, periods, side effects that I've experienced. Uh, what else? How often? How necessary? How long? Yeah, I would like to hear from you. What else, what else are you using and how is it working for you? For me, it has always been the pill and so far been working very good I'm kind of used to it and I'm not willing to change I've seen crazy stories of people changing and things might not work very well and I think that is scary to me so I'll just stick to what I know at the moment and yeah see you in my next video Bye -bye.